Geek subscribers or other fellow YouTubers. My name is Caitlin and I'm a newly graduated PA and I've recently joined the MedGeeks team to do a little YouTube action for you guys. But first, let me thank Andrew, the founder of MedGeeks, for bringing me onto the team. Thank you, Andrew. Now, a little background on myself. I graduated from Clemson University in 2014. Um, I was a CNA or a certified nursing assistant thereafter for a year to get all the necessary patient care hours needed to pursue a physician assistant degree. And like I said before, I graduated PA school only a month ago and I've been a PAC certified PA for just under three weeks. So I'm definitely a newbie to the field. Now you're probably wondering, what am I doing now? What Do I have a job? And why I'm here in MedGeeks? Well, I decided to do an emergency medicine fellowship following PA school. Now, fellowships are a new, trendy topic following PA school, and I'm going to give you a first-hand look through these YouTube videos, of course, into what exactly fellowships have to offer while going through my year as an emergency medicine fellow. Now, Emergency Medicine Fellowship has yet to be begun, but until then, I plan on talking all about PA fellowships, why or why not to pursue them, and what makes you a great candidate for a fellowship. And once I start in the emergency room, I will be talking about certain topics I see or interesting cases that I come across every day. But first, let's talk about this fellowship, residency, terminology. And since the beginning of this episode, I've been referring to my postgraduate study as a fellowship. But that terminology is not contingent with medical school terminology of a fellowship. In medical school, you finish the first four years of med school, pursue a residency, and then a fellowship thereafter if your specialty of interest calls for that. Now, following PA school, there are postgraduate study opportunities that can either be called a residency or a fellowship. So in the PA world, they are one and the same. So now let's talk about the details of a PA fellowship. And there's many different areas of medicine you can do a residency in. Most fellowship opportunities are related to surgical specialties. Now think about it. That's a very specific career where your first year of working would include otherwise intensive training from your employer. So a fellowship in this area of medicine is applauded by employers and makes hiring the following year much easier. Other areas of medicine fellowships are often offered are in emergency medicine, which is what I'm doing, critical care, OBGYN, almost any area of medicine. Um, and for example, Carolina's Healthcare in Charlotte, North Carolina offers PA residency in eight different areas of medicine. Now, the length of a PA fellowship can vary. Usually they are around a year and sometimes slightly longer. Um, some residencies last up to 24 or 27 months. Talk about going through PA school all over again. But for the majority, 12 months is the mainstay. Now, the timing and schedule of a PA fellowship can also vary. Some residencies require 40 hours a week and others 80 hours a week. The requirements during the residency can also vary. Um, there, may, there may be research projects you have to complete, guest speaking surrounding, at surrounding PA schools or outreach or volunteer requirements. And then the salary, or sometimes called the stipend, you guessed it, it also varies. Uh, this can range between 40 or 75K, and it all depends on the residency or the fellowship that you're looking to go into. So let's summarize all that information. Um, the terminology of a PA resident or fellow is one and the same. There are a variety of different areas available for PA residencies, and I've included a link in this video for a great website breaking down the areas of medicine and PA fellowships that are available across the country for the specialty you might be looking for. And then the hours per length, the length of the residency, the requirements during the fellowship, and the sal salary all vary between each residency you choose to go into. 
And that's it. Thanks for listening, guys, and turn in next Wednesday when I break down the application process involved with the residency following PA school.